Hello everyone and welcome to Game Week 6 Wants to Watch. Spoiler alert, there are no Man Salty, I mean Man City players because I like it. But we are going to look at some players that emerged this week and there are players to watch going into next week. Starting in goals, we have Angus Gunn of Southampton. Ironic that a gun is the one to stop all the shots, but Gunn has racked up 21 points in his last three games by keeping two clean sheets as well as four save points and three bonus points. To make him the joint highest scoring keeper right now, as well as obviously being the cheapest playing goalkeeper being at 4.5 million. Also with the joint most clean sheets out of any keeper. But he does have some harder fixtures coming up next, but with Bournemouth away being the very next, can Gunn keep out even more shots maybe if he had a gun he'd be able to keep out all the shots because who would want to score against anybody with a gun <laughs> next up is hugo Lloris. he has now managed to get more fpl points than points on his license okay sorry hugo too soon too soon but Lloris has managed an impressive eight points this week for a clean sheet and two safe points this might be his first clean sheet of the season but very surprisingly he has the most amount of saves out of any keeper right now with 25 in total maybe not having Lloris in your team might save you just him randomly conceding five goals in one game soon but spurs do have have a nice run of fixtures coming up so maybe a good chance for it to continue but for his pricey price another keeper might be a better option or oh, oh, it might not does anyone know what's going to happen in this league anymore like what is going on next up we have Serge Aurier he did not play a single minute before this week and then guess what two assists, a clean sheet, and bonus points to get 14 points. Like, where did that come from? <laughs> but he is actually a very kind price of just under 5 million right now. And again, with Spurs' nice run of fixtures coming up, could be a good option. Eh, probably not. Hard to see if he's even nailed. He might not play for a couple of weeks and then just randomly come back and score, like, 14 points again, because why not? But he is definitely one to keep an eye out for next week to see if he even gets nailed. Oi, oi. Next is a guy that's younger than me, but uh, not by much. It's uh, Something Tamori. He came into the Chelsea team last week after a Christmas since an injury and since has played two 90 minute games he's a player that knows Lampard very well playing with him uh, I know I mean playing under him oh wait no playing for Derby last year <laughs> but this game week he managed to score an absolute perler absolute bender of a smash into the top corner with his first ever shot of the season better conversion rate than Messi and Ronaldo Tomori, Ballon d'Or, confirmed. No, but even though Chelsea haven't kept a clean sheet yet, maybe that can start happening soon. You remember clean sheets? Only 90s kids will remember. But if it does, and if he's nailed, he could be a very good and cheap option, only being 4.5 million into a top 16 defence. But for now, just one to watch. Next is one I wasn't going to do, but it's Jetro Willems. He scored a very nice goal too, cancelling out another Liverpool clean sheet. Angry. But a defender that scores and gets forward a lot for a low price of 4.5 million, also playing Brighton next, could potentially be one to look out for. But if you want to close your eyes and not watch him, I don't blame you. Then we have the true MVP this week. After being suspended for the first two, he's finally back in action, and it's Hing Ming Son. Go on, my son, who scored a nice brace to pick up all three bonus points. And could be a very good option going forward. Both of his goals were perfectly executed, and he's looking very fresh. Maybe the nice run of fixtures can help Sun on his way to some nice points, but more than Kane? I personally think Sun is much better option than Kane right now, especially for the lower price. But Sun is at the same price as Kevin De Bruyne, so quite hard to do that swap. But if, like me, you haven't got De Bruyne in yet, Sun could be one to watch and one to get. Next is Emiliano Buendia. A very impressive Norwich. Hang on. Honestly, round of applause for Norwich beating Man City like what but Buendia has now had four assists this season and playing all 90 minutes apart from the last game unfortunately with Cantwell at just over bare minimum price getting similar returns and Buendia being six million I don't think he's a great option but maybe one to watch to see if he can keep doing it then we have Moussa de Genepo who only just had his first start of the season this week but managed a nice 11 points for a goal and three bonus points he's actually had two goals this season for barely over 100 minutes so a very good record right now and for a very kind price of just under 5.5 million he plays the defensively eh Bournemouth next so maybe another chance of something again or maybe another chance of nothing but we will just have to watch and see next to look at is Eric Lamella he got another goal this week for now a total of 26 points altogether but he's actually been getting a lot of minutes and has had two goals and two assists so far which is very impressive for his price of just over six million if you can't afford the likes of Kane or Son this could be a more guaranteed way into the Spurs line as Lucas Moura does not seem to be getting anywhere as near minutes as Lamella so maybe one to consider Tammy 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 I, I put on myself, put my hands up and said you couldn't do it against defenders that aren't championship level. Well, I guess Wolves were in the championship two seasons ago, so maybe. But he proved me wrong by not only scoring again, one-upping himself and getting a very nice hat-trick, which weren't just from unfortunate goals this time too. But as well as scoring a hat-trick, he did also get a yellow card and scored an own goal, meaning he did actually only get one more point than he did last week. But also 40 points in his last three games with seven goals. The now joint highest top goal scorer in the league. And I'm going to say it. I still 
still don't think he can do it against every team, especially a team that don't allow Chelsea as much space, like Liverpool next week. So it will be a great test for Abraham to see if he can score against teams like Liverpool, and if he does, then oops. I admit defeat. Then we have potentially slightly under the radar, probably not talked about enough, and it's Aubameyang. He's actually managed five goals and an assist in five games, getting at least one attack in return every game so far, which isn't bad at all. Arsenal also have very good fixtures coming up, and even though Lacazette out means less help up top, it also means Aubameyang is going to be playing more centrally like he likes, and more likely to score, and more likely for me to rage for not having him in my team. We will ignore the last 30 minutes of the Waterford game because, uh, yeah, I think Arsenal want to pretend that didn't happen. But Aubameyang could be a very good option as a premium striker that you might want to consider soon. And finally, we have a player that a lot of people have had, and he's been returning in every game and still went down in value. It's Callum Wilson. This week he managed to score two goals, but he's actually managed to score three goals and three assists in five games, which isn't bad at all for just under eight mil. But I can see why he's gone down in price, with a lot of slightly cheaper players doing a lot better than him. But Bournemouth still do have a good run of fixtures, and Wilson looks like the only or main goal scorer from that team. And I do still think most of the cheaper options are are going to outscore him most of the time, but I do think Wilson is going to be a very consistent scorer all season, which is what some people might want in their teams right now with these dodgy weeks. So that is all I have for you today. There was a lot of players that did very well this week, and I'm sure some of them will continue next week and are ones to watch. But thanks very much for watching, and remember... <laughs> Don't be a cheeky scrub. Subscribe to Nathan Bacon right now. <laughs>